now. We're going to continue with online shopping <laughs> and bring Lisa Chang in now to offer up a tech perspective. So, Lisa, what is your approach to shopping online? My approach is every approach to shopping online. I'm trying not to do it because there's so many great deals out there, especially with Black Friday and Cyber Monday and the most key shopping season coming up in just a couple of months. Um, you know, I feel like we all need to be searching for that great deal. And there's no better rush than finding something that's 50, 60, 70 percent off. So are you ready for me to be your shopping BFF? Because I'm about to be. I have These. two shopping site treasures. Yes, they are amazing. I actually didn't even know that these shopping sites existed. But, you know, we are doing a lot of shopping online, as you mentioned. But, Trace, did you know that Amazon.ca actually has a section called Warehouse Deals? So what that is is a little spot. It's its own sub-site. And they have all the returns there, things like open box items, maybe a damaged box, something that was returned that maybe had a loose stitch or a little scratch that can be buffed out. But there on the warehouse deals, you're going to find things that you love at 50, 60, 70, 75 percent off. Another key site is the Google shopping site. I am crazy about this site. Now, before you make any purchase online, what I want you to do is go to Google Shopping, and it's going to pop up like a regular Google page. Now, in the Google Shopping site, what you're going to do is put in maybe your favorite brand and the item that you're looking for. So once you find that, what Google Shopping is going to do is it's going to populate all the retailers around your area. Now, I want to talk a bit about reviews because... They're really important, and we're told to look for the reviews, but how do you tell a real review from a fake review? What should we be looking out for? So there are some telltale ways to tell what a fake review is versus a real review. The first one is look for generic comments. So things like, didn't work, don't buy. Now, in addition to the generic comments, also look for a generic profile. So oftentimes, when these fake reviews are written, they come up with a generic profile name along with no photo. Okay, good. But we do want you to put in your reviews and to look for the ones that are authentic. So yes. how do we leave, like, what do we say then if we want to leave a review for a product? Okay, so if you want to leave a review for a product, and like you just said, definitely encourage everybody to do this because we're all trying to be a little bit more aware of our purchases. Provide useful and constructive feedback. Be detailed, specific, civil, friendly, and positive as well. And try not to make them personal or leave personal information in there about maybe somebody who helped you during your buy. Yeah, I mean, people are booking their vacations, they're buying their outfits, all of that based on your reviews. So the least you can do is be concise and clear exactly. um, and include uh, you know, as much detail as possible. Lisa, great tips. Totally. Thank you so much.